We up. Just want to start by saying, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shad, Bahashim, Rakaqa Dutch, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say, Tawada, Tawada, Akim, Akwatha, us out here sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shad to the best of their ability. Jachanan, Nawa. Just coming at you with another quick camp lesson. We got the brother. Yep. And hey, we out here again, man, doing it. Living in these last days, coming out to let our people know you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, or the Hebrew Israelites, that's your true biblical nationality. And that we're living in the last days and that the kingdom is at hand. That's what we come out to do. You know, by the um the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai, man. So you know, we 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 read the scriptures. If they resonate with your with your spirit. Because that's what the scripture says, you know, hey, if these scriptures resonate with your spirit, you could be a Hebrew Israelite. It doesn't matter what you look like, you know what I'm saying? Because there are what we call the speckled bird or um, a cake unturned, so to speak. Some of our people look like the, um, the other nations, but it goes by the seed line of your father, according to um, uh, Numbers chapter 1, um, basically verse 18. But starting from the top of that particular chapter, and it goes off into, you know, how your lineage and your pedigree... It, it all goes by your father Whoever your father is There's no such thing as mixed people um, You know they have motor ratio You know you get all those terms from The so called white man And we call him so called because he's not actually white He's actually pinkish to reddish in color And there's no such thing as black people You know they say brown people Black people all these different things But we're all just different shades of brown And that, those things are social constructs that was created by um, the so-called white man, your enemy. And, um, you know, I guess we might as well get down to it. I don't know if you, uh, you heard anything about this this guy in Memphis that uh, uh, supposedly the five cops whooped down and, you know, was trying to protest and all this other little stuff. Somebody just got beat, beat the death of the I mean. No, 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 in Memphis. Five black cops beat, beat the so-called black nigga to death. You know, he died uh, like three days later. From the, from the whoop down, mm. you know what I'm saying? But they got the, the footage out because what they was doing was, you know um, you know how Esau is. Esau, see Esau, the so-called white man, he's a cunning hunter. And what he's trying to do right now, he was kind of giving that four message, like, you know, we're gonna break out the National Guard for, um, you know, um, you know, case niggas get crazy, basically. You know, so in a couple of states, people are getting down, but the thing of it is, is where's Black Lives Matter on this when it's, it's five niggas whooping on a nigga? Right. Nowhere to be found. And we knew that wasn't going to pop anyway. But what I did notice from the news was, was that they was trying to create this atmosphere of niggas being outraged. And Jake not outraged, man. Jake, was, look, you, it was a few people, like I said, um, you know, they kind of had um, San Francisco, of course, Memphis. Um, where else were they? Um, New York. A couple of cities, you know what I'm saying, with some of those BLMs out there, you know, rallying and all that other stuff. But what they was doing was they was riling people up by saying, we, we got to get the National Guard out here. Um, uh, you know, that this video is worse than Rodney King. And I'm looking at the video like, I seen it. You know, now I, you know, I didn't see it from beginning to end. I haven't seen all of it. I'm thinking that they're putting it out piece by piece by piece. Now, there is some incidents where I'm like, yeah, Jake need to, yeah, they need to arrest them in this match. You know what I'm saying? But the Rodney King shit, no, they 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 done Rodney King all kinds of dirty. Just so happened this guy, he just happened to die three days later from, you know, his injuries and shit. You know what I'm saying? But he was a little thin guy, man. He's kinda tall. But I forgot, I think his mom said he had like Crohn's disease, which made him real skinny. So he was a skinny, skinny frame dude. And it was five big ass so-called black officers. Now, I watched um Apostle Tahar's video this morning. He done a live. Where basically, you know what I'm saying, he, you know, he kind of, you know, not official, but kind of heard that supposedly maybe this guy was dealing with um, one of the cops on um, wives. You know, some adultery type shit. So we, you know, that's not official. No, that don't make, that don't make it right. That no, 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 no. Right. I mean, as far as, you know, the laws of the scriptures, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you're dealing with somebody white, man, because, you know, in the book of Proverbs, it goes into that jealousy thing. You know, you never know what, you know, because the scriptures talks about, a, um, um, a man with his maid, King Solomon, was like, man, it's a few things that, you know, that just amaze me. And one of those things is how a man is with his woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you never can tell. Some niggas, they might be like, oh, man, 
Fuck that bitch. She's a whore anyway. I already knew it. I'm not gonna blow it off. I always say we back the biblical times when we follow laws and doing like we told Oh, they would have both got put to death. Yeah. But now today, we in captivity in yep. the man. Yup. And then you bring in other people. People have hey, no problem. Hey, yeah, no, that, That's hey. Crazy. But you know, like, hey, these police officers, man, they're like a gang. They're like a fraternity, man. So, you know, they get down on the get down. And when I seen them dudes, I'm like, they remind me of the same guys that drive the black cars here. You know what I'm saying? That'll come and kick in your damn door and take the dope, take the drugs, take the money, and say, nigga, you want to go to jail? Or you going to lock, nigga? What? What you going to do? These dirty-ass cops, man. You know? But anyway, that's been one of the uproars that's been going on out here. And, um, you know, I'm just going to kind of go into a, a couple of scriptures on it. Because it kind of reminded me of um, that. Uh, let's get uh, Proverbs chapter 7 real quick. Uh, you know, or maybe we should have went off into Esau, that damn cunning hunter real quick. But we can go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get this, um, this, this Proverbs 7 real quick. 7 and let's start at 21. Because see, see Esau, he wants to rile Jake up and have Jake go out here and do a bunch of crazy shit. So they can tear gas and, and, and smoke bomb your ass out and throw you in the back of a damn truck and and, 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 and Billy Club your ass up. You know? I, I'm just looking at the news like, why would they be saying something like that? But see, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. We understand that this man, he's a cunning hunter. He, he sets the trap. So he set the trap for Jake to come out here and go crazy, get the tearing up shit. Because I think it was, a, um, I'm not sure if it's with the same thing, the activist got killed down in Atlanta. And they um, supposedly were supposed to have been breaking out the National Guard. They did. I think they broke out the National Guard down in Atlanta for that particular situation. You know, so they trying to rile Jake up. Now, there's going to come a point where the Lord is going to get Jake out here and, and, and Jake going to get busy. You know? You there? I Proverbs 7, verse 21. With her much fear, speech she calls him to yield. Yeah, with her, well, with her, her, her much fair speech. See, that's that's them going on the news and saying what they're saying. Like, yeah, we have to get ready before this video comes out. That's all I was hearing. So when I'm, you know, once I seen the video, I'm like, with that, because I'm looking to see something that's just gonna be outrageous. You know what I'm saying? They was doing it dirty. Don't get me wrong. They was doing it dirty. You know what I'm saying? And you know the crazy part was, bro, they was pepper spraying to the point where they was getting fucked up by the pepper spray and was having to run. And they did that. They they ignorant. They did that too. Yeah, it's man. They so fucking ignorant to to to, to do all that and get themselves. I bet you they 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 was ready to film and show all every inch of that on that body. But see, they body cam. But now what they wasn't expecting was it was like a camera. Say like that pose right there. Right. It was a camera across the street, directly on their asses with HD clarity. So they didn't wasn't expecting that. You know what I'm saying? Probably more than likely. But go ahead, Ah. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. See, with the flattery of her lips, she forced him. Now this this is going off into you know wisdom, but you you know you can use it in a physical sense as well, and, and you know a few different ways so to speak. Because you know the, the scriptures can be they can be used you know spiritually carnally in a few different ways but basically this man with his fair speech the so-called white man he gets on tv and tell our people hey uh you know yeah y'all be calm you know before we put out this video we're going to send out the national guard um you're going to be outraged this is worse than the rodney king so they 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 they're what they're doing is they're they're placing a seed and to our people to go out here and 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 and, and with they got them fist up talking about on black and on proud. Yeah. You see, that's why I wanted to go off into this. Go ahead, off that next verse. He called after her straightway. See, and this is what our people do. Our people go after the so-called white man straightway. Go ahead, up. As an ox. As an ox. Go up to a to to the slaughter. Yep. He ate, but Jake. That's what I'm saying. I'm looking at TV like, okay, y'all niggas is gonna fall for that. Straight out like a like like an ox to the slaughter, man. All people out there in the street. Oh, I'm black and I'm proud. We need and all this other craziness, man. They not understanding that the, the so-called white man he throwing a hook out there. 
reeling it in slowly until something catch. Now he pulling you in. Go ahead, I. Or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. Yep. As a fool to the correction of the stocks. Where well, you think that's at? That's jail. <laughs> correction, baby. Cause it's nothing for these police officers, man. Hey, they, hey, look. Since George and, and they, everybody out there screaming this George Floyd shit. And see, you, you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Y'all gotta wake up, man, and stop and realize that you have an enemy that's that's against you, and he knows how to use you against yourself. Come. That's exactly what they was doing. I'm telling you, I'm looking at the Euro news because it's all over the news. I'm talking about like world news. And you know how it was with George Floyd. What about the one just snatching down statues here in America? That was snatching down statues all over the globe. Why? Because Esau Edom has enslaved the children of Israel throughout all over the globe. That's how you can tell that the children of Israel are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Because everywhere all out the globe, there was, I don't care if it was Italy, Spain, France, UK, Britain, but it was Jake snatching down um, um, fucking statues, man, during um, the George Floyd thing. So now, there, and, and even with that, they was trying to push Jake's button. It didn't work. See, Esau Edom is trying to force prophecy. You're not going to be able to force prophecy. The Lord, hey, the children of Israel are not going to rile up to the prey until the Lord allows them to rile up to the prey. You see? Matter of fact, let me say where you were. Let me see. Uh, uh, one sec. I think that's Zephaniah. That's Zephaniah 3 and 8 or something. Yeah, that's um, Zephaniah 3 and 8. I'm going to get this real quick. It says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So we got to wait on the Lord. We got to wait on the Lord, man. And I didn't, you know, didn't do a lesson on this. You know, I just came out today because I watched the video. You know, I watched the news last night. I seen it because I had been hearing about it. Because like I said, they trying to rile Jake up like, you know, yeah, y'all. You know, it's about to be, this is worse than, I'm looking like worse than Rodney King. I'm like, well, God damn, what did they do to the brother? So I'm really waiting to see the video. I mean, like I said, they was doing him dirty. You know what I'm saying? They were kicking him all in the face and all of that. Wow. Was, yeah, kicking him in the head and all kinds of shit. I mean, he died from injuries, bro. Yeah, that, yeah, because they did me like that on my, on my life. I, I had to do something too. You see what I'm saying? Because they, they, you know, you can see they made, they, you know, kind of made the stop. I didn't see the point where, you know, cause I, he started to run. Now mind you, he's only like about 50 feet away or so from his mama house, that he was almost home, basically. When all this went down, he, and on the video, he's screaming for his mama, mama, just like George Floyd. You know what I'm saying? So you got, um, um, might, uh, might have been staged. It could have been, but like I said, this is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the damn cunning hunter. He's trying to set our people up to go forth and commit crimes so they can be fucked up. This man is trying to send this place into straight chaos so they can come through and do the, oh, well, we're gonna clean things up. There's a problem, we got a solution. He's causing the problem. That's that pressure from above and pressure from below. He's squeezing right now. But see, Esau Edom, man, the scripture clearly says this man had but a short time. This is the reason why shit is starting to rile up. Because he knows his time is up. Yep. And he's trying hard to force the prophecies to better his end. He's not knowing that. Well, then again, maybe they do know, but I doubt it. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord is just blinding them in that in that manner. Because you, you got to be stupid as hell to think that you're going to beat the Lord. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If we didn't, how you think you going to beat <laughs> You know, no, oh, hey, it, 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 it's mind-boggling, man, that these people really think that they're about to um, get out here and scrap it out with the Lord, man. Yeah, how about seeing our side? Those scriptures told us we was going into slavery here in America. We here. All over, the, all over the globe. And it happened. And it happened. And we still here. And, and guess we, what? We above all on the face of this earth. Yep, and, and, and it's not going to stop until he, he, he's the one that turns on and turns off, man. 
So it was where we shine ain't going to do nothing for them in the deep hole. Hey, the, hey, the, hey, the Lord, that, that, their, their, their sin or their the complaint from from Jacob is going up against me, uh, going up against these people on a, on a, on a large scale now. Just like how Abel blood cried out, man. The children of Israel, the blood of the children of Israel are crying out to the Lord like, Lord, when? When? When you ate? And we're about there, man. You got to pay attention to the times that's going on. I'm telling you, bro. I've been at the crib looking at that damn Euro news. I like that channel. Can't think what it is on, um, you know, it could be something different in whatever city you are in. But, you know, it's called Euro news. But it ain't nothing but a bunch of damn Europeans, well, Edomites, claiming to be Europeans. And they're doing bad. Right. They're doing terrible. The fact where was we at on that though? I um I know that 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 next verse was there something else on that? That verse 24. Yeah, yeah, we can get the rest of that. Let's get 24 okay. and 25. Okay. We can get that on that. We on 23. Yeah, yeah, we still there. 23. Oh, oh, yup, 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 yup. Let's matter of fact, let's start back at 22 from the top. Yup. 22, he called after her straightway, as an ox, yep. off to the, to the slaughter. See, our people following the so-called, it follow in behind the so-called white man straight to the slaughter. This man gives you a quick little speech, and he, he, and he tells you how much he loves you. He's going to help you out. Hey, you, this man, I'm telling you, this, this fucker is a serpent, man. That's why the scripture says, never trust thine enemy. Because he'll be telling you some shit that's good with the knife behind his back, man. Go ahead, Doc. With a smile on his Yeah, with a smile on his damn face, man. That's how you know you're dealing with the devil, man. Or as a fool to the caressing of the stock. Yep. Go ahead, Doc. Till a dirt strike through his liver. Until a dart strike through his liver. Which means, hey. <laughs> You, hey, you, you eventually are gonna um, catch a serious injury from this man. That's why, uh, you know, that scripture says, who will pity a charmer? The Lord is telling you, beware of this man. Take good heed of this man. That's commandment from the Lord. And then you go and listen to this man and follow him behind him. Makes absolutely no sense. This man has done you all kinds of dirty right. for the past 500 years. And you believe, still, our people still believe in this guy, man. And won't even, won't even, won't, won't even think about the Lord, man. Going off into that, uh, what's that, Isaiah 31? Woe to them that go down to Egypt yeah. and trust in, 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 in this man's chariots and his horsemen and all this other shit. Roughly paraphrasing, but they, 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 they don't even, they don't call upon you, how about Shimmy Abishai for help. They go straight to the so called white man when they got a problem. Straight to him. Straight way. That's what your brother just said. Straight way, man. Go ahead, Ock. Till they dark, till they dark strike. Straight through his liver. Woo! As a bird hesitated, hesit, hesit, yeah, ha hasten to the hasten snare. To the, to the snare. It's like a bird, he landing right off into a trap. Go ahead, Ock. And know not that it is for his life. He don't even know. Jake out here protesting for some shit. They don't even know what's really going on. And, and not knowing that it can, it, it can really fuck him over, man. They don't even know that. Oh, this is cold. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. That's why I'm here. Yeah, go ahead. I'll get that next one. Hearken unto me now. Therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. See? How long do you think the Lord is going to continue extending his hand? Come on with me. Come on with me. I'm trying to get you to safety. The house is burning. Come on. Let's get out. There, hey, this door of mercy, this door of grace, eventually it's going to close. The Lord is saying, hey, listen to me. I got the blueprint. I know what's up. I set life and death before you. And you're going to choose one. It ain't no in-between. You straddling the fence. You know, go ahead. I let not thy, thy heart decline to her way. Don't let your heart decline to the ways of the so-called white man. Ever. Never trust thine enemy. Go ahead, I. Or any other either. <laughs> yup. Go not. Astray in her, her path. It says, go not astray in her path. Which means don't get off the path of your howl about shit on the side and get on the path of the damn heathen, man. Because they don't have no... They, it's not going to end up being nothing but death. 
That's it. Oh yeah, all of them, man. All these damn heathens, man. There you go, Jake out here wanna be a damn Buddhist. How the hell you come up again? Buddhist, the damn uh, uh what's that? Islam? Yep, yep, the damn Islam and Hinduism. <laughs> Jake wake up, man, see a damn Bruce Lee movie. Now he eating with chopsticks and got them shoes on. Talk about, you know, he damn Buddha, bro. He out here bowing and shit. Hey, he rubbing on the beads and shit. <laughs> hey, I remember watching that Ike and Tina Turner movie, man. And remember she got into Buddhism? Yeah. <laughs> she all of that bitch humming and shit, hum and all this other stupid shit. You got to get in touch with your vibrate. Man, look, we into these scriptures, man. The words of Yahweh should be on the side that have no mate. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, <laughs> was there another verse on that uh, that you wanted to get out of there? Oh, yeah, we can, hey, we can pretty much ride out with this, though. Let me get this, um, say where you at, and I'm going to grab this uh, Ecclesiastes 12. In verse 13, I think it is here. Let us hear the confusion of the whole matter. This is what we're supposed to be doing. The conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. See? That's the whole duty of man, not... Uh, 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 bowing down, worshiping no damn fat ass Buddha guy, man, and all this other shit, man. Worshiping your damn woman. And worshiping, worshiping, um, Esau Edom's money, man, that can burn up, you know, in your house where, you know, Jake be having um, all kinds of bread stash. You know, damn house burned down. It, you, you know, you, <laughs> that shit going up in smoke. Now, if this so called white man was paying you in gold or silver, like he's really supposed to, then your house can burn down and your gold and silver will still be there. You see, but the whole conclusion, the conclusion of the whole matter is us getting back to our power, man. We're supposed to be serving you how about Shimmy outside. That's it. Here. That's it, man. And call him all you how about Shimmy outside, man, and he woke us up to this truth, man. God. I'm praying, boy. Best I, thing in the world. Yep, I wouldn't ever want to go back, man, to the shit that I was into, man. After getting into this truth, and you know, the scriptures talks about getting a taste of this truth, man, and going back into that world that you'd be worse off than you've ever been. God. Them seven extra spirits. What is that? What seven extra spirits come jump on your ass along with the spirit that you had before? Eight, eight spirits on your ass. That's why you see Jake out here, man. A lot of the times they be bugged the hell out. They got a bunch of damn spirits on them. Why? Because they're into a lot of different philosophies. What the scriptures is saying. You know what I was talking to a young lady? Uh, not old lady. Old lady. Old lady. At the club. And she was talking about how a woman deal with different men. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, you're taking on a lot of spirits. Oh, yeah. You're taking on no men's spirits. And she was like, she was like, yeah. You know, that's what I heard. And that's what they talk talking about. You got some reason why they can't pair bond with you. Here you go. You, you, you with something. Man, hey, look, every woman that a man get with, man, it's supposed to be like a car straight off the showroom floor. No, no, no other owner has ever owned the car, man. Damn. Straight up. That motherfucker's supposed to be custom to you. Straight up, man. But what else we got on that, Ot? For she has cost, she has cast down many one wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. And then, like I said, this is going into um, the philosophies and, and the ideologies of, of these, these heathenist nations, man. But it can also go off into, because see, Esau real slick, man. I'm telling you, this man is slick as hell. You get to doing what this man is talking about. Look at the earth. Hell, the earth is proof, man. But see, what this chapter is going into... See, it goes off into wisdom, because if you start from the beginning of it, it says, um, um, let me see, where it talks about, this is how you know it's not just talking about a physical woman. It's talking about, um, 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 you know, spiritual adultery, so to speak. You know, because the Lord is our, our husband, and Israel is his wife, and he's saying, don't go and fuck with another man, basically, or no, you know, that's basically what it is, because right here, Believing in their ways, they, yep. they, 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 uh, praise to their God, and it's entitled the wiles of the harlot. And, and what's more, harlot, what, what can be a more whore? What's more, 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 more of a, a skeet freak than America? Uh -huh. This is Babylon the Great, this is the great whore. So, his philosophies and his way of life is death, man. Hey, bitch, got you.
Hey, and, and I'm telling you, man, hey, look at some of the women, the women, all, every one of you, and, and I'm sure some of you women that are probably looking at this lesson too, you know damn well how women get down. You might have a, uh, uh, hell, you, you grew up with your mama or your grandma, you got aunties. Girl, you gotta do this, and girl, you gotta do that. And, and they all on social media. You going to work, you thinking your woman is just the sweetest thing in the world, man. She's got the video going, just doing all kinds of nastiness for another nigga on the other side of the phone. Gets up, go get with him, come back home, kiss you all in the mouth like nothing ever happened. Like, straight, straight up, man. So you have to realize this is what happened with us as the children of Israel committing adultery against our father, Yahweh, man. You think, hey, look at our situation. You see? Because matter of fact, it says, um, say to wisdom, thou art, uh, verse four, Proverbs 7 and four, say to wisdom, thou art my sister and call understanding thy kinswoman that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. See? We supposed to use this wisdom as a as a as a as a basically a scope to scope out our enemy and say, yeah, that nigga is some on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He's you know, he's trying to keep us from our power. He's trying to keep us from our power and make us go off. That's the reason why the so-called white man, he, he continually pushes pork on you. He continually pushes. Why you think he, he, this man can't give you nothing but a thug, a thug movie, man. All the other nations, they can make movies about being superheroes, about being scientists, about being damn Cinderella, whatever the hell. But when it comes to you, Jake, all they can give you is, is, um, um, some fucking gangster movie, man. That's all they think. See, they push that on you because that's being a cunny hunter. Let's keep these niggas being brute niggas, brute beasts. Let's n we don't want them to come back to the Lord and stop smoking new pork, stop eating pork, stop committing adultery. Because they understand that us being in that situation, they make money off of that. And it keeps them up and it keeps us down, man. Straight up. You're not going to get around it. Straight up. This man is a cunning hunter, man. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, that is one of his 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 traits, man. Other than the sword, the sword and being a hunter goes together hand in hand. He's gifted with the sword from Isaac, and he was gifted with the with the ability to be a cunning hunter. And when you're a cunning hunter, not just that he's a hunter, he's a cunning hunter. You set traps. You don't think this man know how to set a trap for a Negro? He been doing it forever. And we ain't just talking about your physical trap, man. This man, on, on, on the left-hand side, his spiritual trap is, is, is a damn Venus fly trap, man. Straight fuck up, man. Straight up. What else we got on that, though, Op? Last verse, 27. Yep, let's get it, let's get 27. it. 27, her house is the way to hell. This man's house is the way to hell, man. And like I said, it's usually in a... In a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, a metaphor of a woman, but this goes into Esau Edom man and his philosophies as well. Go ahead, huh? Going down to the chamber of death. Yep, that's exactly where your ass is gonna go if you fall following in behind the so-called white man. There is no other place for it, man, for you. That's what he was designed to do. This man can't be righteous. The Lord didn't create. He didn't create him to be righteous, man. He is the wicked. The Bible speaks of. He's the wicked man. This man is 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 is, is, is Satan, man, or Satan's physical counterpart. Satan uses the, the so-called white race, man, to get down. They're the left-hand people, man. These are the left-hand people. Matter of fact, it's a scripture in Proverbs. Let me see. And I was just, you know, just by the spirit going into this, because I'm look, you know, just meditating on it. Like, look at how this guy is trying to rile our people up to go out here on the street to 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 basically get themselves fucked up. All over a situation that they really don't know about, waiting until the investigation is over with. 
Now, like I said, again, they was doing brother dirty. But, hey, let, let Esau's law handle the business, man. But they was quick to get on them so-called Negroes, though. They wasn't as quick to get on them, them officers, that nigga that was on George Floyd's neck. Exactly. Until, you know, it, it, it was some, you know, people started to say things and started to talk about it and wanted some damn answers. But with the so-called black man, they got on his ass immediately and arrested them guys, man. Arrested him. When they arrest some, 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 uh, uh, eat a mic for, for doing that to a Jake. That fast. Yep. If they ever have a rest of them. <laughs> hey, they got with Jake, man. They got on Jake ass quickly, man. But this is, um, Ecclesiastes 10 and 2. A wise man's heart is at his right hand, but a fool's heart is at his left. That's how you know the scripture talks about the Lord, he created a right hand and a left hand side, man. The Lord is dealing with good and evil. He created both. But see, the so-called white man, what does he do? He slips in, he gives you this philosophy that the Lord is only love. He only loves you. That's being sneaky, man. That's being a cunning hunter because what that does is now you out here, you don't, you're unprotected because you think that actually what you're doing, the Lord is just going to forgive you for every single time. I'm just saved by grace. This is what this man gave you. I'm saved by grace. The Lord is good all the time. Ah. You know, some old damn pork chop eating ass pastor. He, damn music going, that, 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 and he it got you out here believing that the Lord love every damn thing that you're doing while he's looking in between the legs of the woman in the front row and shit with that little bitty ass dress on. He all coming down the stairs, tap dancing back up. You know what I'm saying? And Eve, go for it. See, Eve is, Eve is one of our <laughs> one of our worst problems. Because you know what? When it came down to this guy, every damn news clip, basically, other than that, the, you know, the fairy on that fairy, Don Lemon from CNN. You know, he's the fairy that's you know that's married to the other the so-called fairy white guy. Mm -hmm. Him, you got him and a bunch of damn women, man. Women police chief. She's on there. She's all dialed up and and, and look at that like. But that all goes with the so-called white man's philosophy. He's going to use that so-called black woman to do his work every single time. And she's going to gladly do it. In the meanwhile, she's going to talk all kinds of shit to you Negroes and about you as well. You ain't nothing. Look at me. I have a career. That's a part of his philosophy too. He done took your woman out of the home and told you that she don't need you. That's why the scriptures is going up into this, man. See, because like I said, this is a metaphor for a spiritual woman as well. Our women are spiritually going off, going against their man, and going against the the root, uh, the, the order of the household. And the so-called white man telling them that it's, it's it's just fine. Right. Shit, I was looking at the apostle to her. He was like, man, don't even deal with the nigga woman. He was basically like, man, you better off. Get you a damn Edomite and have you a contest. Get you a concubine. That's how. That's how wicked the so-called. I mean, they because I mean you got to think about it. They're the ones. That's the hey, hands down the worst of all of all the tribes, man. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm just being just straight up, straight up, man. Because all the other women following behind them. Straight up, man. See what else we had. I had another. Uh, let's get a precept to that. Uh, let's get that. Pro let's get Proverbs 14 and 15. Oh yeah, it's 444. That's mercy, baby. And fours go up into that mercy, and that's what we need, man. We need mercy from Yahweh by Shimei Shai because, hey, if it weren't for our Lord Yahweh Shai, man, coming through and doing what He done on the cross for us, we'd be through, 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 super through. And that ought to be a lesson to you, you, you um, Old Testament only niggas, man. You, hey, you want to live by the laws of the Old Testament and be put to death for certain things? Things that, hey, Jake was getting put to death, man, in the Old Testament, man. Straight up. You there, on that? Proverbs 14 to 15. The simple believeth every word. Yep. But the prudent man... Looking well to his point. See, the simple man 
He believed every word. Here's Jay looking at TV like, oh yeah, we gotta go down here and protest. I got my Black Lives Matter shirt. And I'm looking, and there's a bunch of young Jake, man. You know, some, um, you know, older, older women, older so-called black women. Because like I said, this whole story is centered around a bunch of women. But the simple, they're so damn simple that they, they, they gonna go out here and really listen to this man and be like, you know what? He just throwing a bait out there, man, for your ass, man. Hey, the, 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 the rat trap is out there. You got the cheese on it. And your little mousy nose is just your whiskers is just running. You just running out into the streets and about to let this man get your ass knocked off. Stop believing in the so-called white man, man. This man don't have your, your best interests in mind, man. He's your worst enemy. He's the top enemy of the Lord, man, according to Psalm 83. And you go go and go and believe this guy, man. So our children are through. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American child is through, man. Because it, 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 it's almost as if it's just too late for him. Because the Lord is only going to wake up with the ones that he's dealing with anyway. But when you really look at our kids, they are fucking through. They mama's through. They mama's mama's through. You see some of these old ass women out here, man, with them big ass eyelashes on. Motherfucker in their 60s, man. Literally out here trying to be 13, 14 years old, man. Man, you got women that's too cute. I mean, you ain't no other words. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, in general. Hey, the, la hey, the last of the women that supposedly, supposedly probably had some kind of um respect for themselves was those women over there in Afghanistan and they out here fighting against them. Hey, they out here fighting against, uh, uh, what's the, what's the clown's name over there? Uh, uh, the Taliban, man. To go to school and universities and they don't want to wear their head guard and they over there getting their asses done dirty. Why? Because they want to be American. That's basically what it is. Babylon the Great, the great whore, the slut slut of the sluts. This white man, this white man, he he destroyed the us black man most definitely but he destroyed our women in a way that they even come after us for them hey man that through and that's why hey i was kind of laughing at the apostle you say what you want to say about these other race of women but he was like man you you better off give you an edomite and that's sad and one thing about it is is overall she won't a damn edomite won't put you through the shit that your woman to put you through man in these neighborhoods, man. I was just looking at, um, done a lesson on a video yesterday. Well, basically it was a lady, so-called black woman. She's at McDonald's. She's mad about a 30 cent piece of cheese. They didn't put her extra cheese on her Big Mac. She goes back in, tells the manager. Manager are like, you know, telling the other, you know, and I'm almost certain that was a, a damn um, a E to, you know, redo a burger. She comes from the back, don't want to redo the lady burger. You know, anyway, the manager called the police. Now she, the, the so-called black, because she's got a lawyer. They all on the um, Roland Martin show. That's what it was on. And, um, you know, Roland Martin's in there interviewing the lawyer and all this stuff, you know, as if, you know, this lady just, you know, she's just an angel, which, you know, get, Cause they called the police, but she sat in her car to wait on the police to get there. And she rolls up, you know, you can see the video. She got a receipt and she's, and my cheese and, 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 you know what I'm saying? And so the officers is basically like, you know, hey, well, they want you trespass basically. You know, basically all she had to do was give up her ID. You know, but oh uh, no, nah, the nigga woman, boy, she goes all up into this tirade. She's just ranting it. Tossing around and exactly. you know what I'm saying? If that ain't now, destroyed, that a woman. hey, when I tell you, <laughs> hey, big ass Edomite cop too, man. <laughs> he punched her in her face. Damn. Leaning on her big ass, oh, man. No, Leaning on her. You I see what I'm saying? I don't like our sister, but I ain't sitting back. Hey, no, no, hey, we ain't. Like no, nope. hey, we ain't. Esau gonna pay for everything that he's done. But you have to realize that this is not our kingdom. Oh. Go ahead and comply. You know, according to um, Romans 13 and 1, it gives you a blueprint on how to deal with these cops. All she had to do, here's my ID officer. Hey, I'm not coming back here anyway because of the service. You guys have a nice day. Bro, but she was doing all the bullshit. 
and brought really that ass whooping on herself, but they shouldn't have done her like that. But you know, of course, she's gonna get some money out of it. You know, she'll get a little bit of cake, and that's pretty much about what it, you know. But the thing, you know, it was a guy on the comment board that was like, yeah, I'm sick and tired of this. We got us black men, we gotta stand for our women and our look, man. I'm not going out marching for nobody that ain't got sense enough to 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 calm their ass down about a 30 cent piece of cheese. The fuck out of here, man. I'm not going out here and, and, and these badass kids. I'm not no, man. That's not wise, man. Wait, we out here for the elect of Israel. Straight up. Straight up. I love my people, but we are out here for the elect of Israel, man. That's who this truth is for. And we're praying that we're part of the hopeful elect. Do it piss hey, it pissed me off to just see Esau. He ain't got to be doing nothing to none of our people. It pissed me off just seeing how comfortable this motherfucker is, man. Thanks. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. I'm so it's nothing about that, but you know, when I see certain things, and see, when you come into this truth, you start to understand stuff. The Lord give you understanding, man, on judgment. Because we're supposed to be righteous judges, man. The Lord will give you understanding on judgment. Cause when you go against these scriptures, cause that's exactly what um what 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 she was doing. She was going against the Lord. The Lord is telling you that hey, I set these guys up. They are ministers of regardless of how fucked up they may be. The Lord still ordained them as ministers, you know, so to speak, to go forth and 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 and, and push His law, you know, or you know, some type of righteousness, so to speak, you know. But still, if you going against that law, that guy that got that gun, he's got the badge, and he's able to have the military backing him, what you gonna do? You might as well, I'm here, officer. That's why I went into that um, that scripture, uh, Ecclesiastic, uh, uh, Sirach 9 and um, I think it's 13, where it says, keep thee away from um, the man that had power to kill. The so-called white man got the power to kill. And, and that's the reason why I wouldn't go out here and get the marching for a motherfucker name, or you know, um, 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 with all this protest shit. Because you, you, you about to run right into the man that's got the power to fuck you right up, straight up. You gonna go against the scriptures and go, and go and, and, and 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 try and battle the 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 man that runs the earth, man, by the spirit and power of you. How about some other side? The Lord gave this man a hell, man. And nobody's gonna take it down until our Lord comes, man. You ain't gonna be able to take Esau down. That's why I was saying, I was looking at that comment, and I'm like, yep, another dumb nigga. You about to go out here and, 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 and possibly place yourself in harm's way, go to jail for a chick that you don't know first off. You know what I'm saying? That's probably all kinds of wicked. That sent all kinds. She probably got three, four baby daddies, all of them on, on, on child support, and, and I'm probably sent all three, four of them to jail for it. So no, man. But let's get that scripture back one more time. What's going on, bro? The simple believe every word. The simple believe every word, man. You have to use wisdom, man. Use some damn discretion, man. You can't just believe everything that somebody say, because I'm telling you, the so-called white man, he'll set you up real nice. Go ahead, I. But the prudent man looking well to his home. Hey, if you're prudent and you into this truth, you're going to be like, hold on, man. And, and the water to your hour, man, for this wisdom, man. We're still growing. We're still working on things. But the water to your hour by Shimei was shy, man, for, for his, his wisdom, man, that he's bestowed upon us, man. Because we could be still out here acting a goddamn fool, man. You're supposed to be walking in the spirit. All that carnal shit, get your ass knocked off, man. Straight up. Let's get, um, let's go to Proverbs 5 and 5. And this was just a few precepts. Like I said, when I was, you know, I'm looking, I'm like, yeah, they trying to get, they trying to get Jay good out here, man. On 5 and 3, so like you. Let me see. Uh, matter of fact, we can start from look, we can start from the um, from, the top. from the top. Yeah, because it, it's entitled "Pitfalls of Immorality." When your ass out here just immoral as hell, these are the pitfalls to a wicked nigga, man. 
Straight up. The Lord don't like wicked niggas. Don't let the so-called white man train you into thinking that you can just be as wicked as you want to be and the Lord is going to be okay with you. Man, the Lord is judging people on a day-to-day on -day basis, man. And, and, and he's out here doing these women dirty, man. That guy, that, you know, he ended up standing over the, the woman and her 10-month-old shot. 10-month-old, she holding him. Bong, bong. Like, you know, hit both of them off. Um, I want to say that was Cali. Oh, but that was, um, shit. That was like seven people in that house got killed, but he stood. The police officer was like, yeah, that was point blank. He stood over this woman and shot her and her 10-month-old. What? Oh, I think it was, yeah, I think it was about some dope. I think it was about some dope, man. Oh, with them, uh, what was it, five people got killed, something like that? Yeah, hey, but it was a few things went down that week, so that might be just one of the stories, right? See, the Lord is not playing no games, man. The Lord is out here judging on a day-to-day -day basis, man. And especially winning, because like I said, hey, it's done got to the point where it's just like, the whole news channel was just like, oh, such and such happened over here, such and such happened over here. Now we're going to get to the weather. We're going to go back to who got murdered over here. That's all you hear. And mainly, a lot of that stuff be women. But go ahead, Ox. Proverbs 5 and 1. My son, attend unto my wisdom. Attend unto the wisdom of your how about shimmy out side, man. The spirit of truth. Go ahead, Ox. And bow thy ear. To my understanding. Bow thine ear. That means, listen, man. Take heed to my understanding. Go ahead, Ox. That thou mayest re regard this, this, this discretion. discretion. Yep. Because that's why, yeah, because we need discretion, man. That you will regard discretion. Go ahead, Ox. And that thy lips may keep knowledge. See, your lips are supposed to keep knowledge, man. You're supposed to be able to tell your brother, you know, you're supposed to be able to have 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 have, have some, some righteous game for your brother if he need to know something. You know? We're out here for the elect safe. We're supposed to, you know, study, show ourselves, approve, come out here on the, on the highways and byways, and, 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 and let the spirit use us as to what we've learned to bring out by the spirit. And we're not ever trying to be into no carnal. Um, um, situation when it comes to teaching, man. We want this thing to just flow like a brook, man. Like a like a smooth, calm brook. Let the let the spirit flow, man. Go ahead, Ox. For the lips of the strange strange woman drops as in honeycomb. honeycomb. See, hey, the lips of a strange woman, the so-called white man. His lips drop as a honeycomb because he makes shit sound so good. Go ahead, Ock. And her mouth is smoother than oil. This man's mouth is smoother than oil, man. That's why a lot of our people really flock to Christianity because Christianity, it tells you you can be a damn demon. All you got to do is come through, drop a couple of dollars in the collection plate on Sunday, and, and you can just go back to being a demon. It's easy because the Lord loves you. God. You're already saved by grace. But when the, the scripture says that um, faith without works is dead, it's works to being um, um being righteous, man. I mean, we are made righteous through our, our Lord, Yahweh side, and what he done for us, but still, that don't give you um um liberty to come out here and just do what the hell you want to do. You still gotta try and live as righteous as you possibly can. You see what I'm saying? But the so-called white man to tell you, do as thou wilt. It doesn't matter. The Lord loves you anyway. That's why you'll see the so-called black woman, she'll get on the news. That's just like with this guy. They had the news conference, and you know who they got again? That 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 um that Benjamin Crunchy Trump ass dude. The guy that's you know the George Floyd um lawyer. He's the lawyer for every nigga out here, right? Anytime something happened to a nigga, he's the one popping up in that suit with his crunchy ass. <laughs> Straight up, bro. He's there. The mama, she like my baby, yeah, you know. Now the scripture says that you know nobody has um um um. You know, perish being um innocent on this planet, man. Cause we're all, you know, um sinful, so to speak, man. But if you're not repenting to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, your ass got a real mark on you, man. You have to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son. If you don't, through.
And that's why you so far blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because these heathen, they don't have nothing to do with these scriptures other than they ask is going into slavery. Go ahead, Ock. What else we got on that? Well, her end is bitter as wormwood. Her end is bitter as wormwood. That's a so-called white man. You follow him behind this man. Hey, you're going to get a damn missile to the face, man, following him behind this man. This man's old whole damn universe is about to be tore up, man, when the Lord comes. Especially Babylon, the great America. You following them behind this man, and then Jacob go join this man military, bro. Your ass is going to be through. He out here telling you about how you American and we love you and we're all equal and have your dumb ass come through and come put on some camouflage. You know what I'm saying? But that's, hey, that, this is what we're going into. You see? The philosophies of this man, man, is his mind smoother than butter. You go, you got a wicked ass nigga like Joe Biden get on TV, man, to get to talk. Man, I mean, it's, it's, it's insane our people fall for that shit, man. Go ahead, I. Short as a two-edged sword. Yep. But it, it says her, her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Shit, at least with a one-edged sword, you got a chance. <laughs> that double-edged force, <laughs> hey, when it goes into you, that, hey, you get cut from the top and the bottom. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What else is on that, huh? Oh, yeah, let's get verse 5, too. <laughs> Her feet go down to 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 death. That's what we were just reading in uh, chapter 7. This man's feet goes down to death, man. Go ahead, huh? Her steps take hold of hell. <laughs> Her step. This man's whole... Thing takes takes hold of hell, man. The proof is like, look at the planet, man. You driving in your car, just look around you. Especially you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. When you 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 driving through your neighborhood, just look around you and see the type of situation this man got you in. But he still he loves you though. <laughs> he loves you though. And then you know what? His philosophy, his words are so smooth. You're actually proud to be to be from. You're proud to be from the, from the fucking ghetto, man. Fish in the air, I'm black and I'm proud. And, and, they, and hey, they would talk about you like a dog. Proud to be from the ghetto, man. All in the rap videos and shit. You want to go to the roughest parts and look at where I'm from. My hood is better than yours. We're bragging about these raggedy ass cities, man. It's insane, bro. But hey. This is how good this man is, man. This man is the David Copperfield of fucking lies, man. This dude, hey, this man gets down, man. You gotta respect it too. But what is he showing you? This is going back to serp the serpent and Eve. What did he do? He slid up on her. He was like, yeah, you know what? The Lord didn't surely say that you would die. <laughs> you know what's up. The Lord has told you what's up. Hey, don't do this, 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 and this. You let this slithery motherfucker, he comes in. And this is what he does. He's been doing that same thing from the beginning. That's why the Lord Yahweh said, um, you know, told um, them Jake, you know, you're, you're, you're as your father the devil. Uh -huh. Lion is his, his uh, what did it say? Lion is his, uh, his, uh, 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 his native tongue. Right. That's his native tongue. His native tongue is the lie to you, man. What else is on that? I was the sub belts. I did have another precept before we. Verse six. Was it? I mean. It, oh, it was more on it that you wanted to get. No. Okay, we, we good on that. Okay, okay. Let's get um Psalms twelve and two. And that was one of the last precepts that I had. I, you know, I just kind of wrote down a few, a few precepts. We just flowing in the spirit, man. Because normally, you know what I'm saying? You know what? Normally, we just come out and we just do it. I was just kind of, I didn't even know if we was going to even get off into this. It was just, you know, three or four precepts to go off into. Because I'm just looking at this so-called white man with his slick ass. <laughs> trying to rile Jake up. And Jake, they're falling for it. You know, but you know what? They're not falling for it like how he wants them to. That's and I'm, hey, I got to say, I'm proud of Jake, man. Jake ain't for it. But, you know, there's going to come a point. When the Lord is gonna rile Israel up, and it's gonna get, it's gonna be get busy time. But until then, you gotta chill. Go ahead, I can hear on that. Psalms, Psalms, twelve verse two. They speak vanity. Everyone with his neighbor with flattering lips. Yep. And, and with a double heart, do they speak? 
think? This man, he he talks with a double a double tongue, man. And the scripture talks about a, 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 a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So that lets you know this man is unstable. He's not a stable man. Because he'll tell you this, but he's doing this. He'll tell you this, but he's doing this. You see what I'm saying? What did they do when it came down to this Ukraine shit? They were telling you all about, oh uh, yeah, we have to, you know, uh, we we uh, Russia is one of our main enemies. We have to do something about them. It is so inhumane how they're running in, the, in Ukraine and doing the people like we have to fight for humanity. But in the meanwhile, his own citizens are suffering. His own citizens are suffering, man. Constantly at war. But he'll tell you he, you know, we're we're a peaceful nation. We're peaceful people. We're fighting for democracy. Yes, your women should be able to go on social media and show their asses. This is what he's telling you about. He, he'll tell you the Taliban is is these wicked ass savages that don't want their women to have rights. It, it, they got rights. But he's telling you that. Your women should be able to be out here and do whatever they want to do. And that's not the order of the Lord. This man is total, totally disordered, man. That's what he's about. That's what he's about. This man, he has step by step moved throughout the continent, to continent, to continent, to continent with the same fucking playbook, man. He runs in, he tells you how, same thing he done with the so-called Native American Indians. No, we love you. You know, hey, we're, we, you know, we, can we all just get along? Next thing you know, chicken pox and smallpox blankets and give it to your ass with a, with a, 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 a fifth of dirty ass whiskey. You wake up the next morning, lumps on your head. <laughs> your woman gone, man. You come out of your teepee, the damn village burned down, man, with this man, man. So it is high time to awake out of sleep, man. But we can go ahead and close out, out with our, you know, with our, you know, um, Romans 13 and 11. Because this is what it's about. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you got to find, hey, the true name of the father is Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. That's our true power. This is who we were calling on, man, in the Old Testament. The true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. He's the one that came and died on the cross for the children of Israel. Not no damn heathens. The Lord is coming back to rule over the heathens, man. With the heirs of the, the heirs of the elect. And we pray that we're, we're part of the, um, we're co-heir, man, with our Lord, man. So we can put the whoop down on these. For real, man. Hey, it's going to be some righteous ass whoopings going on in the kingdom, man. We can't wait. Sick of this place, man. A this lot man. of my brothers don't speak on it, but I'm gonna speak on it. You a Rams ain't getting nowhere. With, oh, hey, look, bro. No well hey, with, bro. Hey, hey, hey. You know, tell your hey, ass up. you know what's gonna hurt them the most? And I say this all the time. You know what's gonna really hurt them the most is them seeing us yank their damn women out of their out of their arms, their daughters. Cause they love, they, they they the ones that 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 have gone throughout the earth that they women haven't really been tampered with like that. They're one of those nations where their women haven't been tampered with like that, bro. You know, but you know that these ones in America, oh yeah, they 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 some slut buddies. I see them, I see them all the time. Now we don't smoke, sis. We got some scriptures we can. We read the Bible, baby. Hey, you gotta get up off them cigarettes. Hey, you, you hey you you know the white man killing your ass with anything. This man giving you fucked up food, water, air, and he'll tell you. Smoke a cigarette to, to get yourself straight. You know, just take a break. Get up off those squares, mama. I used to smoke them, though. I ain't gonna front. I used to smoke them, man. The Lord, hey, that was a real bad one for me, too. The Lord got me up off of that. And I feel a lot better. I didn't tell her where she was coming from, but she did just, ain't no tell. But you know, it's a lot of little traffic right there in that area when we be out here on Saturday. You know, oh man, you out here riding the rim down with the oh, caddy. caddy. I, man, you supposed to have them whipped on over and called AAA, man, or something. If you don't know how to change the tire, he got the brand new cat, but not the brand, brand new one. But that's a nice one, though. That motherfucker like a 14. Hell yeah, that might be a little, hey, that might be about an 18. 
Nah, that's like my cousin. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he riding he's slow too. You about to fuck the real up. Anyway, <laughs> Salakia, man. Hey, Salakia, <laughs> Salakia for the language. <laughs> you know, since kind of threw us for a loop, she out here asking for cigarettes on the other side of the street. You know, it is what it is, though. But hey, you know what? She had an opportunity to hit the scriptures. The brother said we got the scriptures. I told her we reading the Bible. Right. She went right on walking Lucy, on up the block, Lucy, man. Lucy. And she's trying to get down there to the gas station to get a Lucy, man. A Lucy. That's it. Hey, hey, that cigarette. Hey, hey, that's another one of Esau hookups, man. Hey, that cigarette a bad boy, man. Yeah, a bad that's boy. a bad demon, man. For real. I, 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 I don't stop smoking. It been, this is my what? I'm going to say this is my fourth to sixth year. I'm going, on about, I'm going on about four, three, four, something like that. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'll be, I be, I be thinking sometimes. Bro, no, no, cause that, hey, that shit do pop in your mind. Hey, I could be watching TV and I'll see somebody on TV smoking a cigarette and, and I can I can actually feel myself pulling a cigarette, you know, like how I, I cause I can remember it. Exactly. That's how much I used to smoke. Or you see somebody, you know, he flaming out a blunt, like, it, you know, you can. Yeah. It's like it, 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 memories you, come back. You, and you be thinking hey, like, damn, what, that shit be all what, in my dreams, what, bro. What would it be like if I just pulled one? Yup, it'd be nasty. I'd be all, all in my dreams. And I'd be upset. But that be hey, that's the enemy. All in my dreams, and then that's where you gotta cast those imaginations down. Come. That's where the scriptures comes in. This is why we need the word of Yahweh by Shimei Washai and the power of Yahweh by Shimei Washai because that's how you cast down those those demons, man. Come, come. That's how the Lord got um, Satan to flee from him. You know, when, when, when the Lord was in the desert 40, 40 days, man, them 40 days, hey, Satan was trying to tempt him with all kinds of shit. But what did the Lord do? He used the word. He used the word. Matter of fact, let me grab some, uh, let me see real quick. That one, uh, James 4 and 7, it says, Submit yourselves therefore to Yahweh, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Yeah, you got to resist. How do you resist him? You can't resist him if you don't have that's why the scripture goes off into that, that, um, the, the, um, the armor of Yahweh, that helmet of salvation, the truth. The, the, you gird it up with your, you know, you because we're military, we're actually soldiers, man. The Lord has equipped us with a military suit. We got grenades and shit, spiritual. We got spiritual grenades and all kinds of shit on those, man. <laughs> Straight up. That's real, real. That's real talk. Because the scripture says that our um our weapons of war are not carnal, but a spiritual, man. Because we're in a spiritual war. And one of the brothers was bringing it out too, man, real beautiful. What he was saying was is the so-called white man, he can't handle us in the spirit, man. He this man can only fight carnally. What's going on, brother? And hey, we Hebrew Israelites, bro. That's our nationality. Repent. Yeah, we're, we're living in the last day. We just out here reading the scriptures, letting our people know to wake up, man. It's about time to get out of here. You see how wicked this place getting? But yeah, um, the Lord has given us all the weapons that we need, but our main weapon is these scriptures. I, one of the main weapons, or you know, because we got so many, we got the first off the, the name of the Lord. Name of the Lord. I mean, <laughs> straight up, man. That, that's the main weapon. I gotta say the main weapon. The name of our Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. Uh. Let's see what else. Um, it was another one. Uh, um well, maybe that was the one. Yeah, but anyway, you know what I'm saying? The scripture talks about resisting the devil and he'll flee, man. Now he's gonna keep on trying. He going that motherfucker, he going you know, he gonna, he gonna um, double dutch. <laughs> he gonna, <laughs> he gonna try and make his way off into the center of that double dutch, man. Hey, you, <laughs> you wanna try and trip his ass up, <laughs> straight up. But let's go ahead and um, um, Romans 13 and 11, uh. Romans 13 verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep that knowing the time that now it's high time to awake out of sleep because we're living in the last days man it's, it's, it's time to wake up see people out here talking about they woke you got this woke this i'm woke that but 
Motherfucker still rolling over in the bed, slobbing, man. I mean, you know, he just, you know, you know how you, you, you know, sometimes you wake up, but you still lay there. You ain't gonna just get, you know, trying to get the hell up, man. Brush your damn teeth, wash your face, wash your ass, whatever, man. Put your clothes on, man. It's time to go. Go ahead, I. For well, now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. It's only two major prophecies to go down. World War Three and that MOTB. And they talking about that, that, hey, that Mark thing. Hey, this man want to put this handheld device in your ass. He's, he, he's working on that real cleverly, real fast, man. That shit is out here. It's yeah, out been, here, man. He's been working on it, but put it out here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he's, hey, he, he's, hey, he. Trying to be cunning in his, his elbow. He, he is the cunning hunter, man. He's out here hunting. He's setting the trap right now. And he's going to pull a lot of people in, man, with that snare, man. Come. Go ahead, I. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us, therefore, cast off the works of darkness. Yep. That's what it's time to do. To cast off the works of darkness. And you know the you know what the, the main works of darkness come from? Who we were just talking about? The cunning hunter, the slick ass so-called white man. This man got all kinds of darkness around the people, man. Gross darkness at that. Everything out here, man, is, is darkness, man, in this man's kingdom. Darkness, man. You can literally, I'm talking about you can this is the only place you can literally. Legally self-destruct, man. You can you can legally fuck yourself up here. But this man to tell you how he cares about you and, and that he's he's about your safety, man. Oh, we need to raise taxes so we can, you know, do this, um, get more police force, you know, and, and keep you safe. And we're gonna, you know, um, um, do the potholes in the road. In the meanwhile, motherfucker in the background embezzling money. He using the private, he using the the the, 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 the the government jet and shit to go and, and meet up with his poor somewhere in, a, in the Virgin Islands or something. You know, you can't trust this man, man. Only one we can trust in, man, is how about Shimmy I was shy. And we're in these last days. You, hey, it, it, it behooves you to get right with the Lord right now, man. And that's it. So, you know, like I said again, it's your repent of the Father, Yahweh. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And with that, we're going to end out. But matter of fact, you know what about a spirit? Let me grab this real quick. I don't know. It's just something about it. It's just some spirit just want me to bring this out here, man. Uh, second address. Chapter 9, verse 1. It says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So this is where we're at. He said, measure thou the time diligently. And what does that mean? You got to watch the new. You got to see what's going on out here. This man is giving you all the signs and symbols of the end world and, and people just out here just doing just regular Chill. shit. Chill. Like, 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 you know what I mean? Like, shit gonna be good. Like, straight up. Get better. Y'all ain't paying attention to these food prices going up. Y'all ain't paying attention to... A damn carton of eggs is damn near... Hey, in some places, the car, a carton of eggs is over $10. Man, I went to the, uh... I went to the grocery market the other day, man, and, and, and got me a couple, because I, you know, I, I told man, you Man, you I ain't getting but a couple things these I told, days. I told you I brought all that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, man, so I go get me some more stuff, but I ain't eat that. So I, I go get me some more stuff, man, I ain't got but two bags, $60. <laughs> I said, man, you, you. And that's why I was looking at the brother the Ock was doing a camp in New York and stuff, man. This one guy, he was walking by, and he was like, man, show us what you got, man. Show us what you got. You had one bag. He was like, bro, this was $90. And he only had like four or five items, man. Man. man Straight up. Hey, it's man. getting grimy out here, man. Hey, because, you know, hey, they about to cut snap, you know, down. You know, they was giving a couple of extra dollars, you know what I'm saying, on, on these, you know, the food stamp programs and stuff. But they, hey, they, they about to clip all into that yeah, next man. month. Um, man, they hey. They about to just clip up. They about to show them jobs, man. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Out in Iowa, they got a bill out in Iowa they trying to push through. Hey, this hey, this this cracker out there, some Republican man, he like food stamps, you not he don't want you to be able to buy no meat, flour, butter. You know like regular shit that you go to the supermarket and get, he don't want you to be able to use food stamps for. That's a bill that they got in, 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 in order, man. And yeah, you think this guy's gonna stand what you say, order? <laughs> No, that was um I I think it was Iowa. I forgot. I think I forgot what the name of the bill. See how bad it's gonna fuck the people up. Look, man. And if it messed them up, it's gonna spread. It's about to be some hungry asses out here, man. And that's one of the last days prophecies the Lord was talking about, man. That famine. That famine gonna kick in and get and get gonna get Jake right. And that's when Jake gonna start to pray. Hey, when Jake hey Jake gonna start to pray when ain't got nothing to eat. You watch. When somebody kicking in your damn throat trying to get that last can good, that's when Jay gonna know it's real. <laughs> Straight up, man. Hey, so with that, we gonna end out, man. So, uh, all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakafadash. Double honors again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just wanna say goodbye to all my Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Zachanan, we got the brother Rod. Hey, we living in these last days, man. Repent. Shalom. Shalom.